so I am just coming to the end of the second trimester. Here's Bump, coming along nicely. Okay, so here's the belly. Sorry if I'm a little bit shiny, I've uh, oiled. Got to protect the skin, you know? It's going to come out on camera. But I've got really veiny, which I'm not sure is to do with the 50% extra blood I've got swishing around or if it's that the skin's starting to stretch. But yeah, that is quite a noticeable change for me. And that's only happened in the past couple of days. So this week is the 25 week bump update. Last week was the first update, 24 weeks, and hopefully the first of many. So here we are. I don't know how many changes you can really see weekly, but I have felt quite a few changes myself. I mean, I'm no midwife, but it feels like a good few inches higher than my belly button now. It's quite a noticeable difference. And my belly button itself, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's like, it's almost smaller. I suppose where the skin's like stretching, it's getting really, really teeny. And I'm wondering if I end up with an outie how cool would that be? Those of you who follow on Instagram will have seen that we've well and truly popped this week. Here we are at 26 weeks or six and a half months. Here we go. And as you can see, we've got much bumpier. <laughs> okay, so here we are at 27 weeks. I have now officially tipped the scales at 10 kilos heavier than when I wasn't pregnant. Now this is perfectly normal, it's a normal amount of weight gain for the entire pregnancy. I've got three months left. So as you can see, the bump is pretty huge and I entirely blame Christmas. <laughs> this is at this point about 65% baby, 25% Christmas, and 10% Chinese takeaway. <laughs> so at the 24 week midwife appointment, the student midwife gave my tummy a prod and you know, like they push really, really hard. Like, I don't know, it's like she was trying to get in there or something. I've kind of started hitting the bump on things. Like if I spin around too quickly and something's too close, like doorways and chairs and things like that. I have knocked it a few times because you're not really used to having something that like sticks out this far, you know? This week I am 28 weeks pregnant or seven months. But now I've got an actual bump to speak of. I've got a proper pregnancy belly to show off. I think it looks great. It looks like I've shoved a bowling ball up my dress. So I just wanted to show that off. I have to like, wiggle it up, pop the belly out, pop the belly out again. Like, it, it's quite hard work, it's surprising. So, but here we are at 28 weeks. I think I might have said 27 weeks. That's pregnancy brain for you. So here we are at 29 weeks, growing a plenty. I've started, um, I didn't want to do pull down the leggings anymore because, um, how do I say this? I can't see past my belly <laughs> anymore. So I don't want to accidentally reveal something and be going through editing like, oh crap, better not use that. So here we are, three quarters of the way cooked, 30 weeks, 10 weeks to go. Not doing too bad, eh? Hello and welcome to this surrogacy pregnancy Q&A video. Do I feel ready for the last 10 weeks, nine weeks, as I get huge and uncomfortable? Very specific wording there, I love it. Yeah, I feel ready. I mean, I'm really gonna get bigger. <laughs> and do I feel ready for the birth? I mean, yes and no, I'm not anxious about it. I'm not nervous about it. It's natural. The NHS are amazing. 
So now I'm not really worried about it. My best friend said that as the baby was getting bigger, then she started to worry because it's like, oh my God, how am I going to get this thing out of me? So let's get the bum out. If uh, anyone's interested in me measuring the bump, I've just posted a YouTube short so you can see how big the bump is getting. I mean, you can see how big the bump is getting <laughs> by how big it's getting. Yeah, I think he may have changed position a little bit or he's just really genuinely had a growth spurt because it's got pretty huge. So birthday aside, I am eight months pregnant, checking along nicely, getting rather huge, because I am very much in the belly at the moment. So it feels very, very real now. The fact that I can't hide the bump at all, not that I want to, but yeah, it's just quite a surreal experience. Pregnant belly, here's my pregnant, pregnant, pregnant belly. Here's my shiny belly. Here's my shiny, shiny, shiny belly. Seriously though, good skincare is really important. Just to keep those stretch marks away. I would usually do my boots as well, but I'm obviously not going to do that on camera. <laughs> Baby doesn't mind too much. Oh, baby did cooperate, but I was getting a bit of a pain in my belly button, which um, I think was just a Braxton hick and where I needed to wee. Baby, please get out my ribs. You can actually see <laughs> the indent is where my ribs are, and this is a bit of baby. I'm not sure what bit. But it's so uncomfortable. Like, if you look at this side, you know, nothing. That's my ribs. No dent. Yeah, big dent. Hello and welcome back. This is my 33 week surrogacy bump update. Without further ado, let's get the bump out. As you can see, he's a growing. The little passenger, the little baby on board is starting to take over. So I'm actually gonna sit down for this bump update and probably all future ones, because standing up for 20 minutes just doesn't sound very appealing right now. I'm all shiny again because of the oil. I feel like these bits, my sort of hip dips, have disappeared a little bit. They were quite prominent previously, but I do feel like I'm starting to get more rounded than just being all up front. Yeah, so here we are. These are a size 14, I believe. Let's see what happens. Oh, also, getting changed. <sighs> Prego is <laughs> such hard work. My balance is still quite good though for eight and a half months pregnant. God, it's so difficult you won't believe. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh, they're so see-through! You can see my underwear! Oh man, I was so excited. That's shocking. Whew. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Let's get my superwoman knickers off. <laughs> I have never, ever worn animal print. I really like it. It's thin, it's super comfortable. I haven't got any pads to worry about dripping and getting wet all the time. I really like it. Oh, well, 
boobs for days. Glad I bothered with a real bra. This is an almighty success. I wish I was going out out in it. Just imagine. Navy blue lace, bright red lipstick, huge bump. <laughs> Here's the bump. I've been wearing my leggings actually over bump recently because the baby was right up in my ribs and I find having the elastic just above him kind of keeps him pushed down a little bit. So I usually don't wear anything on the bump for a couple of hours before these videos so that you don't get the legging line, but it's comfier. Belly button piercing is, yeah, not great. This bit is just from my leggings, but this is the linea negra. So that is getting quite dark all the way down. And then, yeah, there's all my veins. Quite impressive, no? <laughs> My boobs are also the same. Yes, you can kind of see it. What is that? Oh, it's a bit of fluff. <laughs> uh, if I get the light right. There we go. Oh, yep. Very, very veiny boobs. And a couple of little stretch marks. But cleavage is happening. Ooh. Oh my goodness, my hips. I wonder if my hips will go back. I mean, I'm quite impressed I can still get them up. <laughs> Look. From behind? I had to be kind of at my skinniest to wear this anyway because the buttons gape otherwise. <laughs> oh my goodness. This actually goes on even less than I thought it would. I feel like something might happen. <laughs> I can... Uh, I can do the top button up. Maybe the next one. Just go on the shoulder. Oh, there we go. Yeah, definitely getting stuck in this. Oh, it's such a cute little play suit though. But... <laughs> that button's not gonna happen. And yes, I love it. I mean, excuse the nipples, but everyone has them. They'll go away again in a minute. But yeah, I'm, oh, do love my new boobs. I really hope I can keep those. I didn't think I'd even be able to get most of these things up. So obviously these were meant to be worn on the waist. That's kind of where they should go. These don't fit! <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, she did it. <sighs> Christ, the hell tight. <laughs> um. <sighs> Even with the zip undone. Oh, I am surprised. Oh. So I'm obviously not going out in it. Pandemic anyway, nowhere to go out. It's also got shorter. I'm sure it used to be longer, but that I suppose is where the material's all stretching out. If you're liking my content, please do hit subscribe. Give this video a like, help me with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. So here is Le Bump. I would say that's one cooked baby. <laughs> I think it's still sitting pretty high up and I'm really pleased that my tattoo hasn't stretched with the bump. So 
Yeah, side tattoos are not affected by pregnancy. So I would usually start by like slapping it on my boobs, but obviously can't do that on camera. Five minute belly massage. And I do use quite a lot of cream because it's quite a big surface area to cover. <laughs> My boobs do actually have the most stretch marks out of anywhere. There's sort of some quite purpley ones underneath and some silver ones on top. So I think in hindsight, I should have started creaming my boobs earlier than I did, but I didn't really notice them getting bigger and how quickly it happened as well, how early on in the pregnancy. So while I have been lotioning my belly for literally like nine months at this point, my boobs probably were neglected a little bit at the beginning. Bra top on. And that's it really. My living room has kinda looked like this. <laughs> I didn't repack the bag. <sighs> so some of the new bits are maternity pads. In my favourite jumper dress again. This one's served me very well during pregnancy. And here we are. Large and in charge, eh? I had some henna belly, henna belly done at the weekend just to make the most of the bump. So we've just got some pretty designs around the edge and a hot air balloon in the middle, a bumblebee, couple of crescent moons, just some bits and pieces that I like to make the most of the bump while it's still here. It's quite monumental today, but there are 10 days until the due date. So single digits from tomorrow, very exciting stuff. The hospital policy where I'm at will let me go a maximum of 10 days overdue, which means hilariously I would be induced on April Fool's Day and it can then take another two days to actually give birth after induction. So the very maximum amount of time being pregnant is 22 days. So 22 more sleeps until I can possibly lay on my front again. That would be nice. Potentially only being pregnant for another 10 more days is pretty cool. I'm gonna try and film a part two of pre-pregnancy clothes try on video and I guess I better do that pretty quickly <laughs> before I do pop. I'm 39 and a half weeks pregnant, so let's have a quick belly check because I might not be able to do the 39 week bump date this week <laughs> if I go into labor. So as you can see, getting pretty big. I've suddenly developed stretch marks literally today. They've come up all here. They're not they're not bad, they're not particularly noticeable. They'll probably disappear or go down again afterwards, but we'll see. Oh, well, I mean, color coordinated with the gray. Wow, that's so interesting though, because, oh, I can really feel that I've put on weight everywhere because that's tight on my arms. Oh, I can't even do the button up. Oh my goodness, this is a dress. This is hard work. I do not recommend. <sighs> oh, brilliant. It just covers my bum. I don't know, let's see. Oh my God. Well, my head hasn't grown, has it? <laughs> I can't get it down any lower than that. Okay, here we go. How's that? <laughs> I'm surprised I got this on. My goodness. Again though, I'm really surprised I've managed to get that on. I could almost go out in this. Almost. Oh, young man, that's my ribs. This is promising though, because I feel like if I can kind of get them on now, 
give it a couple of months, I might actually be back in my old clothes, which would be nice. This is that like, what's the word, like chiffon kind of material. It has no give. I think I'm stuck. And I can't breathe. Oh Jesus. Oh. I did it last year. The year before? No, it must have been the year before. Because I was prego last year. And <sighs> running 10k means I can eat cake, which is nice. Holy crikey, that's tight. Well, I'm in. <laughs> oh dear. That is surprisingly not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Again though, I don't really want to stretch it too much, so I'm going to get that off. Once I've had this baby for his parents, I plan on travelling the world, overland, pandemic aside. So without further ado, let's get the bump out. Here we are. Now, I'm quite pleased that I can make the 39 week bump date. There was, of course, the possibility that I would go into labour before being able to do this video, but that's not happened. So here we are, still pregnant, very pregnant. I have had a few signs that labour might be imminent. Maybe this will be the last bump date. Who knows, <laughs> I might get a 40 week update in if I've not given birth next week. We shall see get some footage of it of me beautiful stretch marks there you go so they're predominantly here which is where the baby's bum is so that kind of makes sense i guess the linea negra is also getting darker yeah and i don't seem to have any others i'm not sure what this is i think it's a vein Here's the large bump. Ta-da! Yes, so I can kind of still hold it quite high up, but when I relax, <laughs> it's dropped quite a bit. There we go. I never actually thought I was gonna get this big. Today is actually technically the first due date that we got given. Just realised I'm super shiny as well because I've put oil on hoping to reduce these stretch marks a little bit but yeah I'm super shiny so sorry for the reflection of the lights. The only trouble is now where the bump is so big if I lay on my right side and have a contraction, Braxton hip contraction, my uterus is so big at this point that it pushes up into my ribs and really really hurts. So I've had to start moving a lot slower as well. Yeah, things are getting tricky. I was bouncing on the ball. I was getting very regular tightenings. Hopefully tonight is the night. Now, after I've done all of that relaxing and bath and long walk to try and get everything going, I'm going to try and do a live stream. See if I'm in labor or not. Yeah, as I say, no guarantees. If I am in agony or at the hospital, then I'm not going to be doing it. So yeah, if if you log on and there's nothing there, that's why. Oh, it's the 25th of March. I really hope I'm not going to be pregnant for that much longer. You're coming tonight. But anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.